Oh, yes, Queen, go off. Go off, you. You deserve hey, you made it to TV. Dude, you made it to TV. That's so amazing in this When era. I tell you guys. He, I don't have room for him. Whatever. When I tell you guys. It's like Imperium all over again. I know. <laughs> that I was. Maybe we should just put them to the side for this one. I think they need. Yes. Yes. There it is. Get him front center. Yep. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> um. When I tell you that I was really thrown off about this, I'm standing in my kitchen and I'm like, SmackDown was live, you know, but I can't see it live. I got multiple text messages and multiple tweets of people being like, oh my God. And I was like, what happened? And one person was like, Vinci. And I was like, so I'm like checking Twitter and I'm like freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, I was not expecting this whatsoever. And I'm very, I'm very excited. I am so happy that one, it's been, I don't even know how many months at this point that he's been off TV, but uh, I loved the vignette. It was in Italian. Thank you. Um, They're going straight back to the NXT gimmick, which is exactly what we need. And um, I don't know how many weeks we're going to see the vignettes or what they're going to do, but I just thought it was good. I I thought what, like they did, I mean, the production of the vignette was great. Oh, Um, top notch. Yeah. And there's not anybody on SmackDown right now with that type of like overly egotistical, arrogant, rich vibe, you know, like they don't really have that. Right. What? Keep going. No, keep going. Oh, um, so I think he's going to fit in. My only concern, of course, is that I want them to utilize him in the right way because he is so good and people don't even realize it. So I want them to be able to showcase that he is a very good wrestler and he was not the Janetti in Imperium. They just never let you see everything that he could do. So I'm excited because there's Matt. He could be with Carmelo Hayes. He could be with Andrade. Like he could be with Theory or He's Johnny here. Gargano. Let's, let's raise him up a bit. Let's raise like, him up a little bit because I could potentially see Vinci being the top heel, a top heel on SmackDown because you need someone with that aura, with that confidence, that arrogance. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. That could really push the champion's buttons. And he could do it in so many different ways. And LA Knight, you could have him now feud for the U.S. title. And there's a there's a feud right there. Like, there were not many good things from the NXT 2.0 rainbow tie dye mm-hmm. logo. There wasn't. Yeah. Vinci was low key one of them. He was one of the more entertaining people under on the radar. That brand. Very under the radar. Like the picture of it was when Vance Joseph, I said that right. Vic Joseph, mm-hmm. right? Vic. Yeah. Vic Joseph and Wade Barrett are doing that. Uh, wide shot by the ring during his entrance. Yeah, and then Vinci pops his head through the middle rope, and they do the Vinci p- picture. Mm-hmm. And obviously, Vic Joseph's like, "What?" But Wade Barrett playing so into it that it's a like great photo. <gasps> that stuff could do so well on SmackDown and would be so entertaining, especially with Wade Barrett now on commentary. Like it's all. It's all linking up here. I, yeah, the only concern I have with that is, remember, Cole is moving to SmackDown. So I don't know if they're going to boot someone out. I hope they don't. No, I. if anyone, they would probably boot Corey Graves to Raw and no. keep Wade Barrett on SmackDown. I think McAfee's staying on Raw. Is he not? Or is he leaving? College football is in September. He's leaving soon. Oh, he yes. has to be leaving soon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so Tessator is Tessator, right? That's his name. Joe Tessator. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll be leading Raw. They, mm-hmm. uh, if he's leading, I love Raw, McAfee on Raw though. I love McAfee. On I Raw. guess they could move Corey back to color commentary. I think that would work better. 
Do you like him as play by play? I don't mind him. Like I don't hate it. I would I rather him be play by play than color, honestly. Because what about, he okay, he go. gets too annoying for me. He's one of the annoying color commentators that I don't like listening to. <laughs> so um I prefer when he has to like just be the neutral party on, you know, play by play. Like who do you prefer, him or Kevin Patrick? Oh, Graves. Come on. Okay, good. I just wanted yeah. to know what the baseline was. Yeah, I but I need was. Wade to stay on SmackDown because I need I him there for LA Knight and I need him there for Vinci. Like, we need this guy being their hype man on the commentary desk. You need him for the, the fandom. I agree, but for the bigger picture. That man is so electric I love on it. commentary. Yeah. yeah. There's just some wrestlers, man, that the the longevity of in, in-ring it doesn't work out for the best reasons Mm -hmm. because they're needed in other roles and Wade Barrett with a microphone, whether it is on commentary or uh, on one of those panels pre-show, he's too good as the personality. Yeah. Way too good as the personality. Where was this when he was Wade Barrett in the ring? You know, that's crazy to think about like how different his career might be if he was in ring now, you know, with under, uh, without, Vince in his ear because we've seen uh, yeah. how good Michael Cole is without him oh you know so he's, I don't know I would love for that yeah I would love to see that happen because him hyping up Vinci yeah do it please Need it. 